Right, off we go. Welcome to your spoilers for Coronation Street for the 2nd to the 6th of November. We've taken the last few weeks off of Coronation Street. It's no offence to the show. It's just your humble narrator here has had a baby. Well, not myself, my wife did, so um, a time has got away from me a little bit. But we're back into it now, and it's a good week to come back as well, because Debbie Webster is causing trouble. Let's see what's happening on the cobbles. Abby is getting very suspicious of Debbie. Um, she finds out that she's telling some lies, and Debbie says that there's a whole sob story about her losing all of her money and Kevin believes her. The only problem is that Abby doesn't. Debbie's interference though seems to spread further than just that as she persuades Sally to throw a party because she's got a new chimney. -er. I love that word, chimney. -er. Anyway, Jeff comes along because he can hear the music and instantly starts causing problems. Debbie though encourages Tim to fight back against Jeff. She eggs him on in a sense and Tim ends up throwing a whole bucket of ice over Jeff. But of course this is Jeff and there is no love now between him and his son, so much so that Jeff comes back brandishing a spade, ready to attack Tim. How's this one going to play out? Either way, the Jeff still one looks like it's coming to a close soon for the 60th anniversary, so um, yeah, look for big things for this one. Uh, also, Debbie seems to want Sally off of Coronation Street. She's trying to subtly dissuade them to sell the house, but why? I guess we'll find that one out soon. Emma took a bribe from Scott, so she wouldn't say anything about how much of a crim he was, but that looks like it's going to backfire, particularly after the back room of the Rovers was put into a siege situation because of him. The police are aware of the sudden amount of money that she's got, and they want to find out why. Steve soon finds out what she's done, and Emma is forced to confess what she did but is this going to backfire on her and could she end up in some serious trouble as a result Leanne is trying to remain optimistic about Oliver even though nobody else really shares that optimism and this week she finds out there's been some recordings of Oliver's friends and family talking about what they think is going on and Leanne and Nick overhear everything that was supposed to have been said in confidence nobody was supposed to hear it to be fair but either way they did and it's a very honest set of answers from everybody that leaves Leanne incredibly rattled how is she going to feel that everybody doesn't share the optimism that she does? Dev's having some parenting problems. Ardy is convinced that Dev prefers Asha to him and is certainly putting a lot more attention on her, which leads to some clashes. As for Asha, Dev voices his frustrations that she's been sleeping with Corey and thinks she's been pressured into doing so. Which kind of makes sense after the whole, you know, photo fiasco earlier in the year. Poor old Michael is dealing with the news from Grace that Tiana is not his daughter or actually even her daughter. That's a big old whopper of a lie there. Uh, she's taken off by the police and Michael sees it, but she tells him that this time she is pregnant and actually it is his. He agrees to go and visit her, but is Grace telling the truth? I mean, I would certainly demand a DNA test at this point if she even is pregnant. And speaking of children, Sean Tully's kids Dylan is back in town. But unfortunately for Sean, he's not able to lavish him with gifts and presents and everything, and that makes him feel bad and try to reevaluate his life. I really hope that you don't have to keep lavishing them with presents all the time, otherwise I don't know how I'm going to cope. Either way, what's Sean going to do to make a change? So there are your spoilers for Coronation Street for next week. Uh, what are you looking forward to? What are you not? Let us know in the comments and let us know what you think about Coronation Street at the moment as well. Uh, look out for your spoilers too for Neighbours and EastEnders. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening and we'll speak to you next time.